Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? Pretty good here. So we're still working on this saw. We're gonna do another video on it. I'm kind of getting tired of working on the saw, to be 100% honest. But uh, you know, uh, that's our old fuel line. That's the new one. There's the impulse line that I got pulled out, and I want to change it. Just, you know, more or less to say it could. It was like $3 for this hose, so I'm like, eh, why not? It was cheap. Something that's cheap, wow. So, I haven't got it out yet. Now, I also got, I still don't understand this. This thing here is supposed to be a vent. A vent to what? I don't know. But I got one of those too, even though this one's green, but maybe the upgraded stuff or updated stuff. I also got this vent, which goes in here that we're gonna switch to, because I kind of wonder if that was maybe not venting the way it should have. So change that, change that, change that. <laughs> and uh, I have, what did I do in this? I didn't really do anything in it this time, I don't think, other than we did clean it the other day and I haven't really put it back on yet, but, um, but I was a little concerned, yeah, that's right, I was a little bit concerned with this guy, because it's got to go through the little housing here, it's going to be fun getting this all back in here, and then of course it pinches on the cylinder right there, uh, sort of like, look at this old one here, I can show you, that's around this side, I think, where did it go, what, oh, wait a minute, no, no, it's in the housing, sorry, so it gets, let me think now, that uh, would go this way. So it's getting, it's actually coming just below the cylinder here. So it's coming kind of right from here, I guess. Somehow it's getting for the impulse. But uh, anyways, yeah, so I think, but I had one concern though. When you push the carb on uh, this way, when you push that on, this thing goes into here, but it was only on like this much. And that's the way this carb goes back together. It doesn't go together any other way. <laughs> it just seemed funny that that wasn't pushed on more, but we put this new hose in. It's probably gonna be the same, but let's uh, let's put her together and try her out. See this leaked a bit of gas here or whatever, and it's kinda damaged my paint a little bit. It's changed the color of it a little bit. And uh, we'll switch this vent and we'll pull this guy out and switch this one. It's almost coming out now. Oh, gonna need two hands, I guess. Okay, let's get you on a tripod. We'll get this going here. All right, uh, I'm gonna have to listen to the ticking of that annoying thing. So that just, I don't know what vent <laughs> Vents right back in. And it's just got like a little set screw in there. I mean, this thing seems like it's fine, but you know, we're here, we might as well change it. I have no clue. Oh no! Left my light on. She's dead. But I can plug it in here. I sometimes do that, forget that I put it down and I forget to turn it off. It fits right into. I can't see it through there, but it vents like right into each other. It's really, really, really weird. I can see both things here. Oh my goodness, my fingers don't want to work. I wondered if we were having some problems with it running the other night because it wasn't. It was getting a bit of a vacuum in the tank, and it was kind of starving it for fuel. It almost seems like what it was doing. Well, this does look like it goes down into another empty cavity here, but I just really don't understand why. I can see, uh, I can see gas in this one. I think that one's dry. Oh, there's a bit of gas in there too. 
That is really confusing. I kind of wish I had opened up this thing now to see what the heck does, uh, what that's doing in there, but I guess we don't need to see that, so. All right, so we'll open up this if you want to know the part number for the tank vent. There's your part number for the tank vent for that one. A long part number. And, uh, I wish I had more of a pencil light I could stick down there just to kind of see. This one, I don't think it's... Yeah, see, I don't see light in the back here, so this does vent down. Maybe it goes through to this side or something, so it cross vents. It's really kind of confusing. Yeah, so I can see light here. So the back back portion of this tank, that is really weird. Okay, I think I know what they did now. So this is going into the fuel tank, the front hole here, which turns around and goes into this big empty chamber, which goes to this, which goes to through that guy we just plucked out of there. Where did he go? To this one, and then it goes into this guy here. So it's kind of a kind of a weird roundabout way to do that, but that's how they did it. Okay then. <laughs> we figured it out. It's even the guy, the parts guy at the John Deere dealership there, he's like, I don't know man. So yeah, this is this is really weird, but I gotta try to get that all squished back in there too. Times two. So I'm getting tired of working on the saw, but I have enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it too. We brought her back from a gonna say it, pretty shitty state. <laughs> you know? And uh Seems like it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work. I probably should have lubed that up to put that back in there. I really wanna punch a hole through that. go. Yeah, that sort of kind of makes sense why they did that, but now this little hose we got to get off of this old guy here. Um, somehow, might have to warm it up. Now that one kit I've got here, I did get more I just don't know if it's the right size. I ended up breaking this thing. Ugh. So we didn't get this hose off. Ugh. It's got a good barb on it. Let's see the new one here. Oh, yeah, it's got a real good barb on it. Uh, see, this is still pretty good hose and the stuff I've got there is probably the crappy Chinese stuff so this might not be such a good idea but Off. You might not be able to hear, but there isn't much much movement of air there. Here's the brand new one. Shouldn't have to work too hard, I wouldn't think. Oh yeah, that's way better. It's 
still got a bit of hardness to her, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, so that fits on there nice. This might not go in here. Oh, she went right in, okay. I think that'll work. I'll have to reconfigure that hose because I can't remember which way it's gotta go in now. Okay, so that's there, that's there, that's there. Get rid of this thing. That's the part number for that tank vent. I know they both say tank vent. 5803 and 5805 were the two tank vents there anyways. If you need an M at all. And then this guy wasn't really looking forward to putting this one in because this is gonna kind of suck, but I was kind of hoping that this old one maybe had shrunk a bit or something, but I think it's the same length. Time this gets oh it is a hair bit longer okay maybe we will be better then now this one I think I might lube up to throw in here because this is gonna be uh, a bit of a struggle when you got all this together already so we got to get it if you can see got to get it in this little hole here and it's got to go in through the back side first here. They don't make this very easy. It would have been nice if it was off to the side a little more here, but uh, boy, I don't even know if I can get uh, get her positioned right here. Now that we got this thing all together. <laughs> it's got to go this way because it's got the, the taper and then it clunk, sucks into the this little area there, right? So. This might suck. Might not be able to get this started in here. Okay, I'm gonna need something. Might have to take this boot off again. And it could have been all this issue here with this thing, too. Could have been all to do with that. Uh, it's going to be a way to get this in here. Okay, we got her started. Now I'm gonna try to get it pulled through here without it ripping on us. There we go. Well, that's in. And then we got a fissure onto a little guy off the cylinder here. And we're on there. Okay. Really think I should be taking that Welsh plug out of this. But I uh, was doing a little more reading on this and I think I was uh, low speed a bit too much. Uh, these things traditionally have quite a bit of blah until they get going, right? To me it didn't seem right, but We'll try her again here anyways, see what happens. And uh, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's already leaking on me and it shouldn't be, but. This has got to come on this side here, if I remember right. So the setting is one turn out on that jet. So that's what we did again. still really doesn't fit on there a whole lot. It's not as much as I don't... I think it should be fitting on there further. I'll see if I can get just a nice little shot in here and show you what I mean. See, to me, 
this hose was a couple millimeters longer. Can I show that to you in there? It's probably not going to want to focus too well. There's no, not much light in there, but you can kind of see the... You can kind of see it, maybe. See, it's not really on that nipple a whole lot. To me, that doesn't seem right. It should be right on fully. But, uh, I mean, it doesn't go on anymore. That's where the carburetor sits. There's not much else you can really do. So, I'm not too sure. To me, it just doesn't seem right. Ah. seem right either but <laughs> and I'm not too I should have got the regular hose from them guys I guess too the, uh, the regular fuel line really probably should have but I didn't I am relying on a Chinese one here but that's interesting so like a little set screw in there and stuff okay well I'm thinking that's going to have to work. So we need, uh, we need here, we need this guy on. And this guy. This guy on. Tank fit in the right spot. there now and should be able to get that throttle on. Well I got a little bit of reassembly and then we'll uh, try her again here. And it still has problems. I think there's probably still something in that carburetor that's not right. I'd really not like to try to have to use that the other one there because I don't know, I'm just not not happy with having to change that. I'd rather keep the original carb on it, you know. Okay, so we got to put on this guy here too. This is all going to come off of here. Again, let's so we'll put this cover on. Actually, I had a fair bit of fun doing the restoration on this. It was, it was, it was interesting. It was, you know, a good little learning process, we'll say. Probably did way too much more to it than I really should have or needed to, but eh, it's all right. Okay. So 
wires got to go in here first for the kill. Spark plug wire, that can go on. I'm gonna figure out this guy again. Just like that. And we got a couple of screws in the bottom here that need to go back in. Now the cool thing is, <laughs> I think I mentioned it before, when this does start to run good, I'm probably going to go and uh, take the car back all apart and get all the gas out of it now because I'll probably not really use this thing and get the system all cleaned out again so I can just store it. So if one day it does need to get used again, it's not full of crap and have to go through it all again and you know, all that fun lovely stuff. That's good. I almost kind of think that we're pinching the fuel line there a little bit. An awful bend on the first coming out there. I don't know. There's not much else I can really do. Quite a good bend though to it. There's a little gasket kind of blocking it back here. Try bringing her out here a little more, maybe. I don't know. That could be the problem too. It's getting snuffocated by that real shitty line. I might have to get that too. <laughs> but anyways, we'll, we'll we'll give her another shot here, anyways, and. See what we can do with it. Oh crap. I forgot to put this guy in here. Oh no, that goes in there. Clear as mud. Okay, there. the top cover here and then uh, I've already set that needle to the one turn out and if she doesn't run good like this I'm gonna have to shelf clean it for a little bit until I get my nerve back up to work on it some more because it's had enough time I got other projects here I got to start to work on I got this uh, hedge trimmer, I gotta get a new kit in, I got the little handheld leaf blower, I'd like to put a kit in. Primer bulbs. Um, what else? I don't remember. Okay, so I see this one isn't already taking the gas too well. It's already warped. Again, uh, country across from the pond there probably shouldn't be making parts for these things and they really don't know what they're doing, we'll say. <laughs> no, 
that's China. Of course, I'm relating or, or speaking about her. They uh, probably really shouldn't be making parts that are coming in contact with gasoline. I don't know what it is. I think it's the ethanol. It's really hard on stuff. So I'll have to pull it a bunch again here to get the fuel to prime up. Hopefully there isn't some problem in that fuel line. Probably should have worked that too. You know, and I'm getting these parts at my John Deere dealership, which is, you know, 40 minutes away. And I don't mind the drive, it's kind of nice, you know, to get a little tour. And our rear cover. And we've got no extra screws or parts left over, so that's good. Choke on, and I'm sure there's still a bit of gas in it. Well, it should be enough to get it started. Okay, we'll move you back and see if she'll fire. Okay, you dirty rat, you better go better this time. Screw. I don't want to mess with that yet. I'm gonna open my door though here. Still think there's something in that carb. There's something under that Welsh plug that's just too dirty. <sighs> oh man, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Something's still not right there. It just doesn't want to go from the low to the high right. I still think that there's just some muck in there. Something's not right. Uh, we don't probably actually need to take that off. Yes, we will. That is frustrating. Well, I might just have to work on it here and then hopefully get it figured out. Because, uh, man, that's really weird. I don't know why. It just doesn't want to go from the low to the high. 
it almost seems like it's not getting enough fuel when it runs to the high side. But then it does run high. It's like that interme intermediate or something fuel supply or something. Which I believe is to do with that second hole in that carb. And let's take it apart again. <laughs> There's two holes for the idle. There's one and then there's one to help that mid-range stuff and then it's supposed to run off the high, which it's doing. I think there's something wrong and something in that mid-range. It's the only thing I can think. It seems to run good other than that. But as soon as you go from low, where it's running fine, to high, it's just going to ball. I don't think it's getting the, the right fuel through there. So I'm going to maybe pull this out and have a look under that Welsh plug. I've never pulled one of them out, but I don't think getting it out would be the hard part. It's getting it back in. They just fit in and you just take a little uh, something and then twink, like a little socket that's a little bit smaller than the thing, and then you just it squishes it out into that hole, right? The only thing I, reason I'm thinking that is because when I had... Uh, had that uh, needle out it was pretty grimed up and I'm just thinking that there's still something going on in there is my uh, thinking so we'll just uh, pull her apart here again and uh, Maybe we'll just take the whole carb apart again and see what's going on again for the 14th time. It's the only thing I can think is that needle was kind of really grimed up. Everything else looks good and it does run high it's just that mid-range and I think there's I don't know it's driving me nuts to be honest <laughs> okay we'll soon be a pro at this Kind of weird how big this this guy is too. You'd almost think it would be interfering with the line there, which it sort of does. Uh, oh, this has got to come out. Okay, this line. Can come Alright, we'll put you down on the floor for now because you ticked me off a whole bunch. <laughs> and we're going to pull this carb apart again here and see what is going on. I'm going to close the door. Okay, so I got a buddy too that was a still tech in town here. He's just, he's a wizard. Like, I mean, wow, smart. He would go to these uh, update courses and stuff. And uh, he'd be asking the professors and stuff their questions that they had no idea for the answer. So I'm like, dude, why don't you quit your job there and go and be a professor? <laughs> so, yeah, he's just a whiz. But anyways... Uh, was he telling me he was thinking that it was loading up on fuel at idle and I don't really think so because I was running it pretty quick there but these uh, high speed fixed high speeds are supposed to make it easier and I, I don't really know if they do or not but all right I'll pull this all out again at least we got this in here right I 
probably should get a genuine rebuild card for this too. Our rebuild kit. Okay, diaphragm is out. Now. now this is our high speed jet right here. So that should shoot up inside there. Maybe we'll pull it out again too. Let's gonna have a quick look up this and make sure it's good. And it's open. Well, let's pull this all out again too. I don't need to take this out, but we will just to say we, we did. Now, we could put uh, this through the ultrasonic cleaner again, and I got a new one I want to try, but probably won't get into that tonight. Um, now, that's the Welsh plug. Whoa, geez, get back here. That's the Welsh plug in question right there. Because right in front of the throttle plate is those two little holes. So that might be kind of gummed up in there a little bit. Now getting that out of there might be interesting. You gotta drill it with a drill just to get through it so you can get something in there to pry it out. And that might be the axe for me tonight because I don't think. I don't think I have a small enough drill bit for that. I got this guy here and it might be a little bit overkill. Plus I got no batteries for my drills right here anyway. So next video <laughs> we'll get working on this thing again and uh, maybe I'll take this side off again too here. Like I say, I got a new ultrasonic cleaner I want to try, and it's. We'll maybe have a look at it today, and I don't have uh, enough water out here or anything to uh, actually get that going tonight. And I think this one was a big two liter when I got here. It's pretty awesome. fuel in there, that's for sure. There's a bit of crub in here though again. That little screen, probably should get that dug out of there too maybe. Tiny, tiny, tiny little screen, you can hardly see it. Oh, let me just grab that little light again here, we'll have a look. It's looking pretty clear all the way through there. That's where the fuel first comes in and goes through that little screen before it comes through the little needle and seat here. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't really have... a small enough drill bit to get that guy out. Um, because you got to drill that a little bit. And then just enough so you can hook something under there. And then we should be able to get it out. And I do have a new one. And this little kit, hopefully it's the right one. A little silver dish domey thing there. Uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't see anything else that's wrong with this. There is... Tiny little hole right there. I'm not sure where that one actually goes. I'm not too sure, but let's pull out this jet here again. So this should have been one turn. So there's half one, yeah. Just, I don't know, it wouldn't take fuel. It's clean looking. 
See, there's the, the other one here. That's your high speed wouldn't normally be there, but that's that's the high speed one. There's a Welsh plug there too. That might be plugged up in there too. But it runs fast. It's mid-range stuff. I gotta keep remembering that. It's mid-range. Boy, I don't know. It'd be better just to probably get a whole new carburetor for it and be done with it, to be honest. I mean, we've got this one here. I just really don't want to have to be tuning a high low. <laughs> but it would probably run fine off of it. But I'm, I just don't want to let this beat me. You know, I want to, I want to get it figured out. I don't think I can dig this enough here to, to get this thing out of here. Was moving. Oh, I bent my dewey. Whew, that's tough stuff. There she goes. Well, that's your little Welsh plug. Pretty soft. Now, what are we seeing here? It's definitely some little holes. hole there too man tiny see I don't have one for this guy I think that's something to do with a high speed but we'll get this thing apart as far as we can um, wonder if I should let this sit in a bit of this stuff for the night maybe much that'll actually dissolve whatever might be potentially in there and messing things up on us but I guess I'll uh I guess I'll let her sit you know I've got my little you're not supposed to ream these things out like with any kind of tool. But, I see if I got one small enough here for just doing a bit of fishing. This little guy here. Now, I'm gonna get you zoomed in a little bit more here, I think. Just remind me to unzoom you because I'll probably forget. <laughs> Still can't really see anything. That's good, because I can't see anything either, so we're all good. Seems like it's all open. really all I can do for tonight anyways. gonna blast a little bit of air here well when I'm blowing air in here it should go through I think into the high speed here which it doesn't really seem to be coming out there which is interesting out the main nozzle there uh, there is a tiny little hole you can just see it on the very bottom of those threads in this little wee tiny hole there but I don't think I can get a wire down into there. 
I'm wondering if something's bunged up in that. But there's no real way for me to... Uh, think get anything down that feller hmm see interestingly enough I didn't come with that little wee Welsh plug there Pretty sure that's another one, but uh, well, this guy maybe I'll let him soak. And I'll try another ultrasonic clean. And if that's not helping. This should be shooting up through that main nozzle. And it kind of is, but not great. So I'm kind of wondering if we've got some crap bunged in there. And I'm gonna let that sit there. It'll probably all evaporate, but anyways. Um, anyways, I'll let that soak, and uh, I'm gonna ultrasonic clean it later, but anyways, I got the kit for the HS45 here, and that's a little hedge trimmer. So we're gonna get working on that soon. It wasn't really running too good, so I, I think it needs a diaphragm. I don't really use it, so I'll probably not run it after we get it fixed. I'll probably uh, just kind of put it back together and then leave it, you know? And it's there if you need it. If someone needs it, good to go. If not, well then, it'll sit there. This is the, uh, the other kit for the leaf blower. Uh, SH-55. Oh, this is FS-350 string trimmer. I don't even think that kind of machine exists. <laughs> Hopefully it's for that one anyways. I'll mark on it, uh, SH-55. And uh, I don't think it really needs anything done, but it's, I'll just do it anyways. I think I got it here, might as well. But anyways, I'm gonna let this soak. We're gonna open up this uh, ultrasonic cleaner here and have a look at her. Check her out. Is that old one? I don't know, there was something. Something going on with it. It's gonna go into the garbage file again. Thank you, China, for more junk, and all well, this is probably not much further <laughs> than that, but who knows. Oh, this is like a big... Okay. There's a big lid. This is the big unit. Should almost be able to get in there my whole self. That'll be all right. Nice basket too, where the other one was just garbage. This is a drain hose apparently, because it's big enough you have to have a drain. And the plug, of course, it's kind of kinky. Kind of kinky. Okay. It's a nice basket though. And there it is, the big ultrasonic. Got a big dash thingy on it and everything. Should be good. We'll get her going here, but not probably today. Want to give that carb a clean in and uh, we'll uh, try her out soon here, though. Went on now, for now, I guess, too. Sweet. Okay. Another day, another dollar. And uh, yeah, this little guy here, I mean, if it doesn't uh, go after we've soaked it here for a while. I 
I don't know why I don't, they didn't give me one for that. Like I say, I've got the big one here. And hopefully it fits. I should actually try that in there. Maybe it's too big. It should fit in there small and then uh, kind of expand out. Yeah, that's way too big. <clears throat> I do believe. Yeah, that's not going to work at all. You don't go that way with it. So now we're up the creek without a paddle anyways, because that's miles too big. It's got to actually fit in there. There's a little ring in here. That's actually got to fit in too. That is not going to work. Well, I might have to actually get a, a genuine kit for this thing. Rebuild kit. Yeah, that's great. Maybe that's the problem. This kit is something wrong with it. Who knows? Maybe the specs are off. Maybe I'll try to get a genuine kit for it then. I know these Chinese companies are trying. They're trying to compete, trying to help make parts for people and stuff. But, I mean, if you're not going to get the part right, don't bother. <laughs> I mean, really? Don't bother. Because there's the old one. It fits in there. Well, I kind of mushed it a bit now, but I don't know. To be honest, I probably just order a whole new carb for it. it might cost me like nine hundred dollars, but who knows? It's only money. It's got no value unless you spend it. So I'll probably just do that because you know this might not be worth monkeying around with. But who knows? Fun stuff. Sometimes it's cheaper just to buy the whole new carb and slap it on the way you go, right? But uh, anyways. I'll look into it and see how much it's going to cost for that. It just kind of sucks that, you know, this kind of wouldn't work, but that Welsh plug is definitely not going to work on there, and I can't reuse this one now, so... You can definitely see the difference in the size of the two. Let me get this one out again here. It's got to be... Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's way bigger. Because that's got to fit in, and then you got to you got to get a little socket kind of thing, and then not maybe smaller than this, of course, and then just give it a tap, and then that's just aluminum, and it, and it spreads out into this hole of this carburetor here. So that is definitely not going to work. Well, if they're still available, maybe just get a hold of the carb. I mean, I got this other one here, but like I said, I'd rather try to keep it original if I can, but it's not working too well so far for that aspect of it, but... I'll, uh, I'll give him a contact tomorrow maybe and see uh, what he can do for me. But anyways, I guess that's it for today. That really sucks. Take it apart again. Something just not quite right there, and I don't know what the deal is with this, but... Anyways, I guess we'll keep pursuing it, even though it's kind of silly, but... Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. We will hopefully be done this saw soon. I'm not intentionally trying to make a hundred videos of one little machine here, but for some reason it seems to be coming out like that. But anywho, you guys have a good one. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you all later.